Hello, my little mathematicians. Today, I'm going to help you get started on understanding algebraic equations. Um, so one of the things is when they give you um, an equation from a word story is understanding what each of those parts actually represent. So let's look at this first example. Okay, it says Donna had five dollars in her wallet. She went to the bank and withdrew some money. So first off, what does the word withdrew mean? Yeah, I mean, she took some money out, okay? Um, she now has 65 in her wallet, okay? So she took some money out of the bank. Um, do we know how much money she took out? No, they didn't tell us. Okay, how much did she have to start with? She had five, and now she has a total of 65 in her wallet. So they said to help us figure out how much she actually withdrew from the bank, um, we would use this equation, five plus M equals 65. So in this scenario, what does the five represent? Is it the amount of money she withdrew from the bank? No, we don't know how much she withdrew. Is it the total amount of money she has in her wallet after she went to the bank? No, it's definitely not the five. Um, the total amount of money in her bank account? No. The amount of money she started with in her wallet? Yes. Okay, so five is money Donna started with. Okay. The next thing it's asking is what does M represent? Um, the amount of money she withdrew from the bank. Yeah, that's what it is. We don't know how much she took out. So money Donna withdrew from bank. Okay. Um, what does the 65 represent? The 65 is not the money she withdrew, the total amount of money she has in her wallet after going to the bank. Yes. Okay, so total money. Um, what does the five plus M represent? Is it the number of miles from Donna's house to the bank? No. The total amount of money um, in her bank account? No, it's not the total amount of her bank account. We actually don't know how much is in there. This is the total amount of money she has in her wallet. So I guess I should be more specific with this. Total amount of money in her wallet. That's what 65 is. And that's actually what the five plus M is as well, which makes sense because isn't this side supposed to be equal to this side? So whatever this total equals is technically supposed to be equal to this total. So then it makes sense that both of those are saying B, the total money in her wallet. Okay, um, hopefully if you tried those um, by yourself first, you got those correct. Um, I'm going to go ahead and skip to this bottom table down here. Um, and if you haven't already tried it yourself, pause the video um, and then unpause it and let's see how you did. Okay, so you unpaused it, you're back with us. And it says, Brooklyn always reads two more chapters each week than Vaughn. So who reads more? Brooklyn reads more, which means Vaughn reads less. Um, and it says Brooklyn always reads two more. Okay, so plus two. So if I'm going from Brooklyn to Vaughn, should I add two or subtract two? I'm going towards the lesser amount, so I should subtract two, and 10 minus two is eight. Okay, this time they gave me 20 for Vaughn, so I'm going towards Brooklyn. Should I add or subtract two? I should add two, which gives me 22. Um, so now you can kind of see sometimes you add to, sometimes you subtract to. It depends. Are you going towards the person who reads less or towards the person that reads more? So this should always be two more than this, right? 10 minus 2 is 8. 22 minus 2 is 20. Okay, so it depends upon if you add, or add to or subtract to depending upon which way you go. Um, and you always do it in terms of the other person. So if they asked you to define Vaughn, it would be in terms of Brooklyn. Okay, because normally they would give you Brooklyn's amount to figure out Vaughn. And what do you do to Brooklyn's amount to figure out Vaughn's amount? You subtract two, right? When we're moving this way, we take whatever Brooklyn is and subtract two, which is different. If we're trying to figure out how much Brooklyn reads, then we do it in terms of Vaughn. And what do we do to Vaughn's amount? Well, when I was given Vaughn's amount to get to Brooklyn, I added two. So then Brooklyn would be V plus two. So when you're asked to define Brooklyn, you do it in terms of Vaughn. And Brooklyn is representing more, so it makes sense that you add two to whatever Vaughn has. And if you're asked to like define Vaughn, then it would be in terms of Brooklyn. And since Vaughn read less, 
it would always be the minus two. So whatever Brooklyn red minus two. Okay, just keep those types of things in mind whenever you're asked um, to write an expression um, for one person versus the other. It's always in terms of the other and then use that logic like who has more versus who has less. If you're representing the person that has less, it's either the thing that's being subtracted or divided. And if it's a person that represents more, it's the thing that's going to be added or multiplied. Okay? Um, this was an add subtract relationship. All right, and that's the main thing to get when you're trying to write expressions to represent different scenarios. All right, my little mathematicians, um, keep exploring. You got this.